We're looking at S&P 500 and many futures. The time frame is 2000 tick chart. And I just did my analysis on the overall market structure. And I saw this beautiful high probability high low setup forming and I had to enter. So as you can see, the structure of the market is indicating to me that this is a strong bullish trend. You can see exponential moving average, the 21 bar EMA, the supportive indicator is pointing up, which means I have to identify the proper channel and we have this nicely fitting bullish channel working to the upside. And right now price is corrected to the exponential moving average. And according to trend line rules, this channel to the upside needs to have a new extreme. For this reason, I'm thinking about going long. Also notice I'm going to redraw the short and down trend because there are trends even for the corrections. So I'm just relying on the pure price action. We have a bullish channel working to the upside. We had a correction followed by a break attempt to create new extreme. We actually created new extreme by one tick, which means that this bearish correction played out and now it is safe to be looking to go long. So you could have considered taking long here, but the single bar was bearish. Had the single bar here was bullish, it would have been great high probability double trap to go long because notice the downtrend played out with the break and a new extreme. And now the setup I entered was a high low confirmation setup because price is pushed above EMA, which is confirming the bullish momentum. Exponential moving average kept holding prices and notice this big bearish bar. A lot of sellers must have gotten trapped selling directly into EMA while the trend is up. So this is a high low confirmation setup while this channel needs to get new extreme according to trend line rules. Now the risk is quite big, but this is such a great setup. I had to take a setup here without deep limit order. I'm going for 10 tick target profit. As you can see, I'm scalping for six contracts and I'm going to leave my one contract as a run. There's still enough room before we're going to reach the highs here. So I'm really liking this setup, high low confirmation setup of this double trap. And we need to get new high going to trend on rules. I'm resuming the video and I decided to lower my target profit to eight ticks. We tick through because it is still before the UX stock market open and the market is a little bit slower. We could have gotten the 10 most likely either way because we are right now very close to reaching the 10 ticks. But I took eight, two points, and we still need to make new high for this uptrend. So this was a high low confirmation setup of the double trap. Notice EMA held here once, twice, and three times. As you can see, I scalped the six contract as main portion and I'm leaving one contract as a runner. I'm doing this because you never know if market's going to do something unexpected and you're going to catch major move. I want to be part of this move. For this reason, I'm scaling out my position like this because I want to be part in case market does something unexpected and we're going to have a strong uptrend on our hands. Now we reached a break and new extreme. So chances are definitely high. We may pull back. However, I'm combining the scalping aspect of trading with the swing aspect of trading in this way. I'm really getting the maximum out of this setup right here because Mainly this setup is great for scalp before we're going to reach new high. And in case we're going to catch a major trend, I'm going to leave the runner going. I'm just relying on the pure price action. We have a clear structure, no brainer, no conflicting belief. You have a break, new low. And after there's a push up EMA, basically, only thing you're thinking about is looking for setup to go long. And this is the best setup, the bread and butter, high low confirmation of the double trap. You cannot go long just yet here because it's below EMA and the downtrend is in play. After there's a breaking low, then you can consider going long again. So straightforward price action right from the very beginning. The stock market opened and as you can see, our runner was stopped, but I was trailing it so I can squeeze as much as I can. I didn't expect such a massive reversal, but we did create break and new extreme. So you can see prices can correct or reverse. Downtrend played out with the break and new extreme. We had a congestion, bunch of bars stacked right next to each other. We have a counter trend triple test, which if the EMA is going to hold, I'll be interested in felt second entry short or second entry long expecting for market to push higher because we have one bottom, double bottom, triple bottom, strong triple test, strong bullish bar. The overall sentiment in the market feels still quite bullish. So if we get a felt second entry short above the EMA and EMA is going to hold, this is important. There should be a good sign that we may continue working higher. So we just had the new high first entry long break lower and the second entry long at the same time no low first entry short second entry short failure so we had the setup we were anticipating the felt second entry short and second entry long but it formed so bad below ema look at the horrible bar we also have two sideways legs up so i'm just waiting it's getting overall too congested okay resuming the video as we just had another high low breakout pullback once I see triple test forming, you can see downtrend break new low and notice how prices are struggling to break lower. 
This is where I'm adapting to a wider channel because there's just no bearish momentum. There is no reversal happening. Buyers are deeming this price level worthy. Everybody's buying here. You can see how they trapped all the sellers and you have first entry show, second entry show failure. And this is right now breakout pullback, high low confirmation setup of the second entry long and a flat second entry short. So I'm going to mark it as a potential setup. Pay attention to price action. The fact that you have a break new low and you have this triple test at the bottom, you have triple test here, is a good sign that bulls are buying here. You have a felt second entry short. I could have actually treated this as a first entry short, second entry short failure visually, like a visual of two legs, which is probably the reason why it racketed higher like that. Now you can see we may actually reach the new high of this secondary channel. Zoom in the video once again, as we had a nice two leg -like pullback, notice the latest high is high, first entry long, pullback second entry long, while this option needs to get new high, but I had really ugly, very single bar, so I couldn't really enter this. If you have better bullish bar here, you want to take long here. Despite the fact you have a small break new high, this is important because we talked about how to recognize that the momentum is shifting from bearish to bullish. After you pushed above EMA here and EMA held, you know that the wider channel is in play and you expect new high for the main wider channel. So you're just reading the price action, you don't need an indicator. And this was a decent two-legged pullback. I'm just a little bit bummed the single bar was ugly because this would have been otherwise a great setup. The thing I can do, I need to follow the rules. So I have a almost new extreme and I'm going to be expecting a correction for a little bit here. After uptrend created new extreme, we had a felt second entry long reversal pattern, new high, first entry long, second entry long failure. And now it is okay to come for second entry long to fail. It is okay to come for second entry longs to work as long as this option is in play. After this uptrend created new extreme, then we switch and we count for felt second entry long. So we had reversal pattern, but this was exactly around the news. And you can see EMA is flattening a lot. And I'm starting to draw a trend range structure because we are starting to be in a little bit of a consolidation. And this is how you can see the price action after new extreme reversed. And now we had a felt second entry long. There would be nice second entry short, but we only had the first entry short. And now even the downtrend created new extremes. So I'm just going to mark the new extreme. We'll see what's going to happen now. The reason why I'm not buying just yet is because the range is not fully confirmed. We may have a break in new extreme and just a potential reversal. You can see from the top all the way to the bottom, not a single close above EMA. So this was quite a substantial push down. For this reason, I'm not really picking a bottom. However, you can see bars are starting to deem this place level worthy because this is where the triple test formed. But this downtrend was quite strong. So you never know if there's going to be second leg to new low or how many pushes you're going to create. So for this reason, I'm just waiting. Okay, created a very strong push up. This channel needs to get new extremes. So I'm looking for two leg up pullback, second entry long at the exponential moving average. You have a first leg down, first entry long. Let's see if prices can create the second leg down to EMA and offer me a second entry long two leg up pullback. This was quite a strong momentum. So right now I'm anticipating the two leg up pullback, second entry long. If we correct to the EMA, the second entry long would also be a failed breakout out of this congestion because right now we have overlapping area congestion, but I'm afraid it's not going to pull back and it's going to create new high without giving us a chance to get in. So we can see so many matching highs. This is overlapping area, basically congestion and the failed breakout would have been great. Larger to like a pullback. I'm just watching this and observing if we're going to push higher. You can see we had another high low, which would have produced a massive runner as well. So all you need just a couple of these setups at the lows and you can manage to get a really nice runner and ride it all the way up. The down check created a break new extreme. And given the overwhelming bullish bias, I'm anticipating push above EMA and a felt second entry short. But even now, if high low will form soon, it's going to be a little bit cluttered. So however, we have a congestion. Once again, I'm not touching anything while we're in a congestion. I want to see EMA holding and some nice high probability setup if I'm going to go long. Market form a larger tool like a pullback. We also have a felt breakout out of this trend range. I'm looking for felt second entry short above the exponential moving average. I'm not taking high low because it is below EMA and the bearish correction may not have played out. I want to see prices staying above EMA to confirm the bullish momentum. Pretty much I cannot tell either way. So only way for me to trade this right now is lean more bullish. I zoom in the video as I was thinking about entering the high low breakout pullback because we had a congestion high low breakout pullback, but it ended up finishing in the middle of the bar with the very stem. So I'm waiting and not entering so far. So we have new extreme first entry long pullback second entry long, but the second entry long is far from EMA. There is a gap, so I cannot take it. I was hoping it will pull back closer to EMA. However, you can see the bullish uptrend is still in play. 
It's a shame that we had this high low which unfortunately was so congested but it's a nice break up pullback EMA and the resistance held as a support you can see the support is showing signs of confirmation even here so we are still trading an uptrend. There were a couple of good setups at the beginning but here even though price action is very predictable it is just too congested we never really managed to get any clean setup just a lot of sideways action with EMA in the middle of these bars. All right traders I came back from the break and the strong uptrend still keeps working higher we had a pull back lower second inch long below EMA I can see prices forming micro double bottom so I'm expecting full prices to push above EMA and offer me high low or let's say flat second entry short the bullish uptrend is still in play and getting quite strong we have higher low but it didn't show us strong bullish momentum it is still closing very tiny as a doji in the middle of this consolidation so I need to wait more possibly for prices to reach the bottom and if we have triple test i would be interested in buying right traders i'm preparing my limit order as i'm gonna take more aggressive setup i'm gonna take the triple test long let's see if it triggers and we get filled because we have the second leg working lower now the support keeps holding the structure is bullish but since the setup is a little bit more aggressive i'm gonna drop my limit order a little bit back like this Actually, you can see market is working higher, so I'm going to chase it. We have a first leg down, correction, second leg down. I would be buying low at the bottom of this trend range, which is what you want to do. I'm scaling down because it is a little bit more aggressive. It doesn't look good. It may go without us. And it's gone. That happens. It's a little bit frustrating because we have a nice triple test at the bottom and the structure is bullish and also you can also treat it as a new high kind of like a first entry long pullback second entry long you're buying at the low triple test formation i wanted to have a couple ticks back but as you can see it never came back and never got my limit it's part of trading so nothing i can do I'm just going to wait more because it managed to reach the scalp now. I have to cancel the order once it reaches the scalp. Right traders, so I'm going to wrap it up with my one single trade. You can see the triple test, what a nice trade this would have been and what a nice runner. So unfortunately we didn't get filled and it was a little bit frustrating. So I cannot really keep pushing it anymore because it's a really shame we didn't get filled here. A couple takes and we would have finished the day very strong. Overall, price action is very predictable as you can see. From this point basically a brand new uptrend started and the goal is for you just to let the correction play out. You're not even thinking about selling and you can see how broad and sideways the two bearish legs are. This is not reversal, this is just a correction. You would need to have it steep push down like this for you to think that the market may reverse but this is such a broad sideways correction. Only thing you're thinking about, letting the correction play out, see push above EMA and resume fell second entry short or second entry long. You can see we had a false second entry short but didn't form well still below EMA bearish bar congestion. You finally pushed above which you expect high low breakout pullback. You have two key entry points the support now the train range and the EMA but notice the congestion it didn't even trigger above this bar and then market get pushing high. from this point on the strong uptrend started you can see how bars are getting tiny minimal bearish pullbacks so you're transitioning from weak channel here into stronger one and it's a shame we didn't get this set up but i hope you learn uh, something with this video and i'm going to talk to you next time so good luck with your trading